Hello and welcome to the channel, my name is Annalisa, and as I predicted last week, I have more pressed flower pendants to show you. So I decided to do another round of these, partially because I was having art block, and also because I had gotten a bunch more flowers finished drying that I wanted to experiment with. So I noticed when I was making my first batch of pendants that there were a couple of colors that I just didn't have. Everything was mostly in reds blues and purples and so I have found some flowers since then that were in lovely shades of yellow and the pale orange and so some of those um, like the dried flower you can see <laughs> to the right is a pumpkin flower or some kind of gourd flower most of the gourds that are growing in my gardens are pumpkins but I do have a few other decorative gourds and also some acorn squash and their flowers look much the same usually pumpkin ones are a little bit more orange whereas other gourds tend to be more yellow so I picked some of the oranger ones and I noticed when they dry they came out this really pretty um, shade of pastel orange and so I was very excited to use those and also I started drying petals from marigolds which are something I have also been successful in growing uh, which I have a lot of trouble predicting what sorts of flowers I'm going to have a good time growing and other types of plants as well because sometimes even if I've had success in the past growing a certain type of plant like for example peppers the next year I try to grow them they won't turn out so uh, a couple years ago I grew peppers and they were great this year my pepper plants took forever to sprout so I ended up actually buying one from the store for like three bucks and uh, you might know that peppers can cost about 50 cents a piece that's kind of the upper end of the price range for them and so I would need to get at least six peppers off this plant for it to be worth that investment and thus far it has made no peppers and actually almost completely died it wilted and the one pepper trying to grow went all wrong and so it's just now recovering and growing new leaves so I don't know what went wrong with that or why the other peppers are so anemic while other plants that I go around them are perfectly healthy, such as marigolds. I grew a bunch this year because I've been trying to find more non-toxic pesticides, and so marigolds are supposed to uh, be anti-bug smelling, and so I planted a bunch of those, and I didn't think they would sprout because last year I tried to grow them in my garden as well, and it totally didn't work and but this year I have a bunch of marigold plants that have fully grown into bushes like four or five cubic feet bushes <laughs> that have marigolds just sprouting all off of them in all directions there were plenty for me to pick and so the flatter smoother more yellow as opposed to orange petals are going to be marigolds I also was very excited to use some more of the charms that I got while I was in Spokane so for example you saw I used the police box slash telephone box charm and put it in with some blue glitter and a bunch of blue petals and these blue petals are from bachelor's buttons that were actually wildflowers that also grew in Spokane so I got those on the same trip but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to use loads of those because they only bloom in a certain time of year and I only got so many of them while I was on that trip because they don't grow locally but I really love how they show up in resin they have a really interesting texture and shape that's sort of feathered on one end and so I really like them and also use them to mix with the marigold petals because I really like the contrast of blue mixed with yellow I think it looks really nice and so I had a lot of fun experimenting this time with my wider variety of colors and ended up doing a lot with the yellow and orange, include mixing it with red from my rose petals, mixing it with purple from my petunia petals. I am really happy with how a bunch of them turned out. They are all on my shop. I just wire wrapped them with various colors of jewelry wire and so I have also finally put up the other pendants. My personal favorite one is definitely the dragon that I was able to make by putting down 
the dragon pendant, then a little sliver of red rose for the inner part of the flame, then a marigold petal for the outer part of the flame, and then a background of purple petunias. <laughs> so I really like that one. I kind of hope no one buys it so that I can just keep it for myself. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!